Hello. Hi, Have you seen this before? No, I didn't. Do you know what this is? Meat, Meat industry. Yeah. Over here, um, these little animals here, they are male calves in the dairy industry. Do you know why they killed them so young? Because the dairy industry doesn't need them because they don't produce milk for people. So they kill them really young, sometimes on their first day of life. Yeah. Do you drink dairy? Yeah. Have you ever thought... not to, actually. Why? Have you thought about it? Yeah, like I thought about it. Maybe I should cut a little. Who do you think milk is for? Like intended for? You know, yeah, I've heard that it's not like too good to drink. Like but who was it intended for? Like the, the milk yeah. originally? It's for like the little little girl. babies yeah, babies. yeah you used to drink did you used to drink milk when you were a baby yeah yeah me too it's interesting that we're full, full grown adults and we still drink baby's milk yeah we don't it's weird to no. think about it because yeah. no other animal do it yeah yeah and it's inherently cruel uh, animals are murdered for it the mothers who lo lose their children year after year to produce milk for human beings are then slaughtered when they don't produce milk anymore and turned into burgers so people can eat them. Um, so they spend a lifetime mourning for their children, well not even a lifetime, five, five or six years and then they're killed. You know, but all you can drink soy milk, rice milk, almond milk where there's no direct harm to a sentient animal. But I used to eat these animals here, beautiful animals, pigs, they're just like dogs, they get suffer for their lives in a gas chamber. Um, CO2 gas burns them from the inside out, their mouth, their eyes, their lungs. Horrible way they struggle for their lives in here. Terrified, see? Trying to escape. See, they're trying to escape. They scream, you can hear it from outside the slaughterhouse really loud. And then um, human beings who don't really know come along and get the sausage, they get the bacon, they get the pork chop. They don't understand that that animal struggled for their life and we're eating that suffering and it's inside of us. You know, we can eat chickpeas and rice and lentils and beans and tofu and all of these amazing foods, burgers. Down the road there, we just seen soya burgers being sold at a kebab shop made of soy. No one choked on their own blood in a slaughterhouse. Human beings are very far removed from what happens in these places. Do you think if we seen the process before they become the package, we would still want to eat it? Yeah. <laughs> I've been inside a slaughterhouse. I was actually inside a slaughterhouse yesterday, um, watching animals be killed. It was actually quite disturbing. I've been a vegan for five years, and um, like I just, I'm the the most disturbing part of it for me was that I had their body parts in my stomach. You know these animals, and like this is me bearing witness at the front to the animals before they go in, and this is me inside. Um, this is me on the kill floor. There they are. They've been stabbed in the throat and they're draining them of their blood and there's a big river of blood. And what they do with this blood is they feed it back to the animals in the farms. They feed them back the blood of their friends in these farms. You know? Does this look like food to you? Yeah, what does it look like? It looks like murdered animals, doesn't it? It looks like corpses. But like, let's just say, okay, let's just get a burger, mince it up, put some sauce on top, put it between a bun. You don't see murder, do you? But I do. Yeah, so. It's interesting how they trick people, you know, into thinking that this is food when people, children, imagine children seeing that. Would they want to eat a hot dog? Hmm, so interesting. But luckily we've got options. We don't have to pay for this to happen to animals. This is a vegan challenge. It's free. <laughs> you can do, try it for 22 days and they help you. It's like on Facebook. And you know, you can just eat plants and not use products that come from innocent animals that are so vulnerable and young and terrified. And we target them. They can't defend themselves. Okay, we bully them and murder them for their bodies. So yeah. I know it's very harsh reality but even my words don't do it justice what they go through so I've seen like this kind of thing before people with masks here the other time it was like chicks baby chicks yeah you know yeah the egg industry yeah it was uh, they mince them up in a macerator on their first day of life because yeah. they're male 
They won't produce eggs. It's for eggs. We don't even need eggs. It comes out of a hen's butthole, covered in poo, and like it's just an unnecessary product to eat when we have so many other foods. I don't know. I don't know. The best thing we can do as consumers is vote with our dollar. When you purchase these products, you fund slaughterhouses. Yeah. Like when you purchase plant foods, what do you fund? Yeah, because if people didn't consume it, they wouldn't produce it. They wouldn't. These places wouldn't exist if it wasn't for me eating meat for 26 years. As soon as I stopped, though, I, you know, if we all stopped, no one wanted to consume animal products. What happens to these industries? They don't exist. Yeah. So sad. But luckily, you have lots of power in your hand. You can choose uh, to be against it. And you're probably against animal cruelty anyway. I don't have to con convince you of that. But when we eat animal products, we are but we're 100% with our actions supporting animal abuse. So, thank you.